Hey, if you thought Ubisoft was getting better, nope. Welcome to A Cow's Opinion. Catchphrase! I ain't got one. But we do have Chris Scullion here at Video Games Chronicle doing a pretty good write-up about how the new Star Wars Outlaws game, which, you know, is getting a lot of press, some positive, some negative. Here's the negative part coming up again, though, because the Jabba the Hutt mission will be locked behind the $110 premium edition. You must buy at least the gold in order to play it. So the Star Wars Outlaws is that new uh, heist video game that's uh, coming out from Ubisoft. And there is, you know, a lot of hype because we love good Star Wars games. We do here on the channel too. But we're also getting some bad narratives. And here's a bad narrative I want to actually cover. Uh... Although there's other stuff that we won't cover in this video, really stupid stuff. Like say that the physical edition of Star Wars Outlaw still requires the online connection to install, not update, install, which is dumb in 2024. But as per the game's website, there is going to be a season pass which will include two additional narrative expansions coming after launch. And additional cosmetic items, excuse me. <clears throat> my throat is still iffy. But we're talking about this today with my iffy throat because it has a day one exclusive mission with Jabba called Jabba's Gambit. The mission description reads as following. Just as Kay is putting together a crew for the Canto Bite heist, she receives a job from Jabba the Hutt himself. Turns out that ND5 owes Jabba a debt from years ago and he has come to collect. Now, first of all, this game is already going to be 70 bucks base. But that means that you have to spend at least 109 for the gold or 129 for the ultimate edition, both of which have the season pass in order to get it. Now, season passes are not new. They're used in things like Fortnite to like help make money because the game is free. Or sometimes with games, people like season passes, as this article says, because... Uh, it lets people know that, hey, they're going to keep supporting this game for at least a little bit of time so I can get my money's worth. But, now you're spending 70 bucks on a game, and you don't even get all of the game unless you give them at least another 30 bucks. No, excuse me, $109 gold edition. It costs $40 for one mission. Now, I know that the Gold Edition has a Season Pass, and there's going to be additional cosmetics. Those are... I don't always consider those in my purchase plans, because additional cosmetics could mean really cool stuff, or, hey, we made this blue jacket yellow. Uh, but two additional narrative expansions, is that like a mission that takes 20 minutes to complete, or is that like a m series of missions that take longer? You don't know. It just says two additional narrative expansions. But the greed of some of these companies to lock day one content behind an extra $40 to try to sell more season passes, is just, this is the reason why a lot of gamers are saying, I don't know what all these big studios are doing. It's why they're like, guys, we're not making as much money as we thought because they think that people are happy with this, that we're going to buy $40 season passes for a $70 game. I don't even know what the Ultimate Edition had. Let me... Let's look at it. You know what? Let's look at it. We got the time. This is a shorter. Okay. So we've got the Star Wars Outline... Outlaw... Outlaw... Outline. Bleh. It's a Monday. Outlaws website. We can pre-order. Oh my god. You can... You get on a payment plan for the video games. That's how you know it's too expensive. But here is what you get. Yeah, they they oh no, it's not a payment plan. It's they want you to pay eighteen dollars a month for the uh, Ubisoft Plus thing. Uh, no, that's ridiculous. So for seventy dollars, you're gonna get your standard edition, which is your base game and a pre-order bonus of a cosmetic pack for your speeder and a cosmetic for the trailer spaceship. For another 40 bucks, you get all of that, 
you get early access in three days. I always thought that's really stupid because you're paying for... There's always a day one patch, and some of these games need patches released within the next 24 to 48 hours. So I've never understood paying an additional $20, $30, $40 to be the guinea pig to make sure it works for mass release. So I always think that's dumb. And you get the season pass, two DLCs that will launch. Keep exploring the world of Star Wars Outlaws with all new stories and quests. Jabba's Gambit, which is an exclusive mission available at launch. Re again, stupid to lock this behind your season pass. I'm guessing because uh, neither the DLCs were... I don't know what... It doesn't really go into DLC what, what that is. It says all new stories. So hopefully it's good. And also the Kessel Runner character pack for additional cosmetics for Kay and Nyx. And if you do another $20 above that, you get all of this, plus the Rogue Infiltrator Bundle, which is just more cosmetics. The Sabic Shock Bundle, which is even more cosmetics. What am I getting? Okay, it's mainly the digital art book and a unique cinematic story. That one I understand a little bit more because a good... Di a Maybe 40 bucks for a digital art book is a lot. But you know what? If you're a huge fan of Star Wars or the game, you, and you're like, I really want it, I can understand the digital art book because people like that stuff. And that's fine. But locking stuff that's ready to go prior to launch behind $40 minimum is just a disgusting business practice. And I got to tell you, People already have problems with this game. We just went over the online internet connection to install thing. And I know it's 2024. That's not a huge ask. But it's still a really stupid ask. And so the fact that... Which tells you that they're not going to be able to have everything on the game. And you're going to have to download stuff. And so because of that... I, I'm getting really worried about Star Wars Outlaws, guys. I think Ubisoft has been going so big for so long that they just don't know how to make a game. I saw the preview video and it looked it looked fun. It looked like Star Wars. But it looked like every other Ubisoft game with a Star Wars coat over it. And we'll be very interested as we start to see actual gameplay. Not like these trailers. I want to see actual gameplay and I want to see actual reviews. I this is not necessarily going to be day one for me. I need more information. But guys, are you looking forward to Star Wars Outlaws? What do you think about this pricing structure that I'm looking at? Because, my God, look at that, man. I mean, that's just disgusting. Well, hey, just pay them 18 bucks a month and get on Ubisoft Plus. Is that a streaming service or... But whatever, guys, you know what else you can do? You can play more games! I'm cracking because my throat is recovering. But games are awesome, more awesome than my throat right now. Ha <laughs> ha! And you, my friends, you deserve awesome. Let me know down below what you think, and I'll see you next time.